don't go broke buying gifts for people I think you can give this to a man a woman a child whoever he says ye pot but guys auto correct stay in your lane hey guys welcome back it's your girl megan albright if you're new to my channel my name is megan albright if you're old thank you for joining us again so yes i know i'm late with this video um but i still haven't gone christmas shopping yet so i was guessing also i am guessing a lot of people have not also i've been busy with school work guys i've been editing trying to film trying to read for school and stuff like that but that's not the point so today i'm going to be doing i'm going to be giving you guys 30 actually 31 affordable gift ideas for everyone for your kids for your friends for your neighbors for your child for your dog um yeah your dog can get whatever they want they don't really care i personally think that christmas gifts should not be like a gucci bag or some kind of expensive thing you know it could be something sentimental to you and that person you're giving the gift to or it just could be you know like something that you think will bring value to the person you're giving the gift to i put the gifts in different categories for depending on what you do and what you like and what your friends do and what your mom does and stuff like that but let's not waste time let's just get into the video the first category that i wrote was workout for those who do workout not everyone um you could get them like some gym clothes it doesn't have to be like a whole set but you know like a new gym tights or shorts or whatever it is or you can get them now this is me being a bit extra you can get them some barbells <laughs> You know, so you could do workouts at home, especially with times like, for example, COVID or if you don't have like a gym membership, you could still work out at home, you know, you guys feel me? And with that being said, I also wrote yoga mat. I think a yoga mat is such a good gift to give and I don't think it costs that much money. And this is a gift that the person can have for a long time if they're good at taking care of the stuff, you know. Motivate them to, you know, do some morning yoga, like evening yoga, some stretches and stuff like that. And every time they do yoga or stretch, they're gonna think about you because you got them the mat. Think smart, not hard. Also, you could give them, I wrote weights, but I think weights and barbells go under the same category or something. Gym shoes. I did get some gym shoes from my um, mom, um, I think two years ago or three, and I started using the gym shoes a year ago. And it's just so nice to know that I don't have to worry about stuff like that, you know? And shoes you can use forever or for a very long time at least. So that's like a gift that the person can have for a long time. And not just like, for example, a Gucci bag, cause you buy me a Gucci bag and it gets stolen. I'll be crying first of all for the bag, but also for your money, man. Like, you don't waste your money on stuff like that. Try to be, try to give gifts that have some kind of meaning, or you know, to the person. So that's six ideas already. And then the next category is home especially for those who live alone now if you have a friend if you have a friend who lives alone or like a relative or someone who's going to move out for themselves you could plan and give them gifts that they would use basically for example a fry pan like you need to fry eggs in the morning you need breakfast you know if you don't eat breakfast you should start guys i'm talking to myself when i say this a fry pan a pot or something you know like cooking pots so you can use some house utensils these are things that you don't think about until you move out and then you're like oh i need to grate for example some cocoa yams but i don't have a greater because these are things you don't think about when you live at home your parents buy everything so your life is basically chill you don't have to think about these things until you move out and you're like ah maybe i do need to get a spoon to mix you know stuff like that so you can get them like kitchen utensils cutlery sets spoons forks and knives that's a cutlery set that i was thinking about number 11 some candles Ooh, i love me some candles when they smell good especially now that it's winter time for like fall and stuff like that when you come home you have some candles when you're watching tv or when you're trying to study you know like good scented candles it doesn't have to be scented candles but you can choose and you can you know maybe you'll get like a different design kind of candles or like one candle it's really up to you and up to your budget but like i said you don't have to overdo it it's just a gift and remember christmas is every year so if you start giving gift like gifts like gucci bags and stuff next year you have to outdo the gifts of last year or you know you have to keep up the standard and don't go broke buying gifts for people don't go broke buying gifts for people number 12 is sliders i love me some sliders personally and i think they last for years or forever basically and they have like this new i don't know what it's called like cloud sliders or something really popular now i guess it looks very comfy i don't own any of those so i don't know but you could get them sliders or number 13 i think i'm so smart for this one an alarm clock yes your ass needs to wake up and go to work 
you need to get up and go to school you need an alarm you know for when you're gonna go to bed for example personally I did get like a I don't know what to call it it's like an alarm clock but you can also have like daylight sunlight and it also sings or you can have like bird sounds just find the alarm clock that fits your budget especially for a student or mom who has to wake up early and yes you'll be like oh but Megan you can use your phone for an alarm try not to use your phone as often as possible that's basically my point like if you wake up in the morning and your alarm is on your phone it's easy to just go ah, ah, ah. and then that's already adding to your screen time and what we need is less screen time for 2023 okay so an alarm clock number 14 warmy sliders is called you know like the soft i don't know i'm gonna find a picture and put it here but you know like the soft slippers that you just it looks like a shoe or whatever you just put it and it's like really huge i think that's so cute and especially for people who live in countries where there's winter and stuff like that like if i was living in cameroon and you got me slippers like that it would make no sense because bra is always hot like and i would never wear it you know it doesn't make sense but a slider will make sense so try to give gifts give give gifts try to give gifts that the person receiving the gifts can use or will use you know don't just give like i don't know like a fucking surfboard to someone who's living in Cameroon like we don't surf like that you know it doesn't make sense so number 15 a cookbook this is such a good gift like I tell my friends that I don't want anything because I don't really wish for anything like that but I think a cookbook is really a good gift because a lot of people are moving out at a young age you don't know how to cook or you're trying to learn how to cook different recipes and so just have the book you know like swipe you can use the book every day and every time they open the book they're gonna think about you so that's a really good idea so for blankets number 16 everybody needs a blanket literally um, or art pieces I have a friend who's really like into art and he when they moved out he got like new art pieces and paintings and stuff for their walls so that's a really good idea depending on what the person likes a teapot he says ye pot but guys oh to correct stay in your lane but you can get them a teapot this is me personally i want a teapot um a teapot or a coffee set that's what i wrote i need I think I'm just saying things that I basically would buy for myself. Um, a coffee set. Oh, an Instax camera. Jesus. This is my plan to buy for my siblings because I think it's such a great idea for to have an Instax camera. You can take pictures of basically anything and you get the pictures immediately. And so I think it's a really good way for them to have like quick memories. And the thing with the Instax camera is you have to refill the um, pictures, of course, and they themselves could refill it throughout the years so you basically buy the camera you can buy like once or two sets of pictures you get if you guys understand what i'm saying and then they basically just have to refill it over the years and i think it's a really great gift because it lasts for a very long time number 21 a dryer um yeah babes your hair needs some work especially now that it's winter time it's cold outside you don't want to be walking outside with wet hair because you will make it you will not make it i'm telling you number 22 a hair straightener i do have a straightener i wouldn't call it a straightener it's more like a dryer with a comb if you have friends with long hair who you know might need it no shade but yes a hair straightener is a good idea number 23 a bathrobe everyone takes a shower so technically everyone can have a bathrobe and i think you can give this to a man a woman a child whoever or it's suited for everyone basically last category is school now this is mostly for why is my hand like this this is mostly for like the students out there university students high school students middle school college whatever and even just normal people who go to work every day and need some place to put like their bags your laptops your pcs whatever number one a school bag you don't have to buy a school bag every year i think it's actually a waste of money to buy a school bag every year because it's not like the bag you have is bad or anything you just maybe got old or you just want something new you know so a school bag is a really good idea number 25 pens pencils etc you know like writing material like you can just buy a set and gift it to them especially kids because they like like you know new crayons and new colorful stuff you don't have to do a lot to make someone happy i hope you guys understand that the small things matter glitter pen whatever just something nice it depends on how you give it to them and with that you can just make like a cute christmas card like thinking about you you know i hope you have a great great school year you can have you can attach something to your gift so it's not it doesn't feel i don't even know how to put it so it doesn't feel like it's not enough because some people are like oh i cannot give just a card or i cannot give just this because it's not enough or it doesn't cost as much it's not about the price it's about the heart giving the gift okay number 26 school books especially for people in countries where you don't get books at school like here in Norway, you're lucky enough especially like primary school yeah i think primary school you do get like writing books if i remember correctly but if you don't then that's a really good gift to give and it lasts them for a very long time also number 27 a planner 
I cannot stress this enough. I personally have a planner. So this is my planner for next year. I'm already ready for 2023, basically. I think it's really good to plan ahead of time. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. That's my motto, literally. So you can get them a planner so they can start planning. Or number 28, a diary or I think writing, a diary or journal, actually. I wrote both of them, but it's the same thing. A diary where they can, you know, put down their thoughts. And especially for students. I don't think it's because I'm a student. That's why I'm stressing it out. But generally, especially for students, like you're just frustrated with school you come home and like you have to do the dishes you have to do work you have to go to work clean and stuff like that and all these things that probably stress you out and make you overthink you can just put them down in your journal or your diary and you don't have to think about them so much more after that so i think you should definitely do that and the last but not the least stickers for the laptop now i'm telling you guys this is so affordable gifts it's actually ridiculous guys this is my laptop as you can see so many stickers like some of them is from the tattoo parlor from school from like um friends and stuff like that so this is just like simple things that you can gift that have meaning now every time i use my laptop i'm like ah it looks nice doesn't it look nice it does i'm just asking you don't need to answer but it does look nice so you can give like um stickers for the laptop or another one like you know magnets for the fridge simple things guys you don't have to overstress it i personally would love if someone gave me like magnets for my fridge because i want them i want to be able to hang like my plan for the week or like a recipe i would like to try out and different stuff like that so i really hope this video helped you guys it definitely helped me i need to go christmas shopping tomorrow in a few days because uh I don't have much time but anyway thank you guys for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel click the subscription button and click the i always forget what that thing is called click the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video and so you don't have to stress or like have to go in and search my name to check if i upload uploaded a new video you just get like a link when you wake up in the morning like yes megan is here she's back she's back with a new video so anyway i'll see you guys in the next video i hope you have a great time and a great day